What's up guys, I wanted to show you an app today that's won a lot of awards, it's won the iOS business app of the year and stuff like that, it's here, it's called World Card Mobile, it is available in the App Store for a price of $4.99 which may seem a little bit steep but I've got to say it's excellent, it's functionality is fantastic. Now what this does is converts your paper business cards into a digital form such as this and I'll show you that in a minute. The reason this is great is because say you've got hundreds of these, you know, you don't want to type in the um, phone numbers or email addresses to your phone. You just want it to be there as a contact. And that's what this app allows you to do. Also, there's obviously the point that you know you can lose business cards. So you've got it backed up on your iOS device and you can also back it up onto stuff like the cloud from there. So you'll never lose it again. Now, let's just get into this and I'll go back to the home page. This is how it starts off. So you see you've got cold, uh, cold holder. You've got card holder here. You've got camera, photo, signature, and QR code. They're all the different ways you can scan them in. So if I just use a camera here, because that's what, what I've got, I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of this business card and see how well it does. Uh, we'll try and get this in shot so you can see it. Focus in here. Focus. Okay. And take. That was kind of hard to do for a camera lens. You can see now it scans the uh, business card here, highlights the important stuff, makes the brightness a little bit better. You can change the language. It has brilliant language support, all of these different languages. We'll hit English. You can rotate and all that stuff like there. We'll hit done. And now, guys, it's going to convert this into a contact for me, basically. Now, it's not perfect. You can see here it missed out a name. But, I mean, specifically, you can just go ahead and type in a name, no problem. And you can see here it's uh, recorded the business card up here. You can see it's got the company name right. You can see it's got the all the work phone numbers right. So once this is saved, you can just tap a phone number and call the person instead of having to write the phone number every time. You can see it's got the work email correct. It's got the home page correct. And it's also got the address correct. So you can just navigate straight to it. That is very, very impressive in my eyes. You can see here you can save to iPhone contacts. I'm not going to do that straight away because I'm going to show you it later. Um, I won't save a name for now. We'll just hit done. And you can see basically it's in the uh, card holder. So you can click card holder. You can actually do a cover flow effect. And you can see if you have more than one, you can switch between them. You can click into it and you can check out the business card itself. So if it doesn't record all the information, you've still got your business card saved here. So if you lose the paper one, you've still got it. And I think that's very impressive. Now, if we go into it here, um, you can see how it's all saved. You can share this via Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, FaceTime if you want to, share contact via text messages and stuff like that. Now, if you don't want to use this app all the time, you can press this little button down here, tick the one you want, and you can either send it by email, send it by text. Whoops, you can't see that. You can uh, export it using all these different ways, card image, Gmail contacts, iWork, Excel, Outlook, export to iPhone contacts. If I click that, I click all here. I am using this on my uh, 5G, by the way, but it is available for the iPhone 5. If I now go into my iPhone contacts, because I didn't save a name, it will be under the uh, company name. You can see here, Levy Associates. And I've got all the work um, addresses here, addresses, phone numbers. I've got the work address here, homepage, and the um, address here. So it's all saved to the contacts if you want them to. And obviously, you can back that up in iCloud and stuff like that. I think it's very impressive. And like I said, if you've got more than like one or two, this app is going to be great for you. Like I said, you can uh, back up in the iCloud or Dropbox here. You just have to sign in. The functionality of this is is fantastic. I really, really do think it is. And I'll just do it one more time on, a, on another one. Okay, guys, so we'll try one more business card. And it's this one here. This one seems a little bit better laid out. So it might actually work a little bit better. We'll uh, do the same way, though. Just hit camera, take a picture and try and get the lighting so it's good. Okay, now it's gonna scan it in. You see it highlights the important stuff, hit done over here. And there we go. You can see this one's actually works better. It's got the uh, name. So we've got the full name as a contact now. It doesn't quite have the company name, but you can simply add that without a problem. If we just uh, quickly write that in, you can see it's only Three letters either way. Anyway, um, how do you get rid of? Okay, that's how you get rid of the keyboard. You can see it's got the work phone numbers. It's got the work email address here. It's got the home page, and it's got the address pretty much perfect. So that is actually the best I've seen it done here. You can see 
that is pretty much one to one with the card. Again, we'll hit done up here. So you can see, guys, you can flick through the cover, the cover flow effect. It's really nice. You can uh, click into it, zoom in, see it in really, really nice detail. Um, you can obviously export these out into your contacts. If I do that quickly now and pick this one, click the export, export to iPhone contacts, hit all. You can see it converts the data. We'll go out into my contacts. Um, should be under a name this time. Um, oh yeah, iPhone does it with the surname. So here, and we can see all the relevant information is now there. How nice is that? You see it's added it to my uh, previous contact. So it works really well and obviously you can just ring Obviously, if you have a uh, right thing, it will work. I don't have this. I mean, this is on the iPod Touch 5G. That's why it hasn't rang there. But yeah, it works really, really well, guys. It's very good. It, I can see why it's won a lot of business awards. It is very, very clever app. Definitely worth it if you've got a lot of contacts, guys. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.